get started? You good? We're good. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you for coming. If you are here tonight with us or if you are catching the replay, we are so excited that you took some time out of your busy day to um, just hear our stories. Megan and I want to share with you a little bit more about what sets Beauty Counter apart as a company, what sets our team apart, um, specifically kind of our culture and our values there, and um, just invite you to take a look at what the Beauty Counter business side is all about. So I'm going to kick us off with sharing a little bit of my story. Um, and when I kind of came across Beauty Counter, I had already been using safe products, clean products, eating healthy food, really caring about that kind of thing for probably about five-ish years or so. Kind of started having an interest in that when I got pregnant and um, just wanted to clean up our lifestyle. Um, however, after the birth of our second, uh, my son, I was really struggling with my health. Um, I had actually gone to the ER a couple times with really intense stomach pain that the doctors were completely stumped by. I had rashes, different parts of my body, intense um, uh, cravings for sugar and carbs, and really um, intense postpartum depression, especially after my second was born. And so I'm dealing with all these things. And finally, after many, many doctor's visits, um, going to different doctors, I found out that I had an Epstein-Barr virus infection, candida overgrowth, my liver was sluggish from all the years of um, just chemical exposure that I had been exposed to over the span of my lifetime. Um, I also found out that uh, my body does not methylate properly or as efficiently as some others do. And methylation is basically how our body filters out and gets rid of the toxins and the chemicals that we come in contact with every day. So because of that, I really had to take a hard second, third, fourth look at what was in our home. Um, it really became crucial for me so that I could function well. I mean, I had two kids and was caring for a home, obviously, managing all of that. I was also working really hard on building my own personal business at that, at that point in time. Um, and so healing really needed to happen. And I remember my chiropractor saying, she said, check the toxic load in your home. And initially I thought, like, I already have, like we got rid of our over-the-counter medicines and our toxic cleaning products. Um, you know, we eat healthy food, we limit our sugar, all these things that were really good, yet unknowingly lathering our bodies and shampooing our hair with all these toxic chemicals. Um, and quite honestly, I had really just set aside that whole area, just all our personal care products, my makeup, skincare, all that stuff, because I couldn't find products that were clean and actually worked. So I basically gave up. <laughs> um, that is about the time when I discovered Beauty Counter. And it really was really through Megan that I discovered um, these products. And after trying some of their products, it honestly became a no brainer for me to sign up as a consultant um, because I wanted to receive the discount on the products that I knew I wanted. I knew, okay, I have to swap out my stuff for cleaner options. Might as well get a discount while I'm doing that. Um, and I'm going to share about these products with people because I was so excited to finally find makeup and skincare, body wash, shampoo, like all that stuff that not only worked, but didn't have all these harsh chemicals and fragrances and heavy metals and hormone disruptors and all of that stuff. I could essentially use that area of my life to clean up and purify those, those things so that I could support my body's ability to heal itself and thrive and function well. So I thought, Hey, I would love to do this. And I would love to give that, like if I could gain that, I would love to give that to other people as well. Megan, what about you? Well, I feel like we have sort of similar stories, but different too. So 
I got interested in natural health back when I was 16, really then when I was 18. And so that shaped what I wanted to do as a career because I loved it. So I got my degree as a chiropractor. And so I'm a licensed chiropractor, although I don't practice anymore. I stay home with my kids and do my beauty counter business and health business. But I love health. I love teaching women about health. And I'm so passionate about doing that, but also because that's my own health story. So I've struggled with some like underlying you know, gut issues, brain fog, kind of chronic fatigue for a decade and a half now and worked really hard on my health and it goes up and down kind of depending on. And I always knew for many reasons when we had kids, I wanted to stay home with them or I wanted to work, you know, if I was in practice very little day a week, because I always knew my energy levels and everything. I couldn't balance energy wise and just focus wise doing practice and doing family, home, kids, all that. And so it was always, how can I bring this business and this, you know, love of natural health? How do I do that online? And so I started a blog, a food blog that was so much fun and so much work, but made zero dollars. Well, that's a lie. I made $1,000 one year, an entire year. And I bought myself a digital camera, <laughs> my gross profits <laughs> to keep going. And so it just kind of, then morphed into me doing health coaching. And then when I had my first kid, I was like, I don't want people on my schedule because the, my husband was traveling and we didn't want to do much of any childcare, just a very small amount. I thought I can't have patients on my calendar and hope my baby's going to nap. Like that was just, I couldn't do that. And so that's right, well, it was right before I got pregnant, Beauty Counter came into the picture. And I honestly signed up because I wanted, as an affiliate program, it was a great commission in terms of an affiliate. Most affiliates are really small and Beauty Counter's bigger. And so I didn't know much about being a consultant. I just knew that these products were not only answer for me, but when I was in practice, we had a form and our patients would fill out all their health history. And we had two things that said, do use conventional skincare, hair products, and makeup. And I did not know what to do if they circled yes, because I was using natural stuff and it just like hair products did not work. I bear it like my, I have very thick hair. It was unruly. I could barely comb through my hair. And I was like, well, I'm not going to recommend these products. And then I was still using my conventional makeup because it worked and we get, we want something that works. And when I tried stuff from Whole Foods or our health food store, it would suddenly not be on my face by 10 a.m. Like they just didn't perform. And so I always went back to the fact that I need to look like I'm not 17 years old as a young chiropractor. And I need to look like I am a little bit like my age and I can do my job because people will still be like, I had people ask me, are you old enough to be a chiropractor? Yes, I am. I just clearly need to, I don't know, apply more eye, eyeshadow or eyeliner, something to make me look older. Somebody did ask me yesterday, they were, they were dropping off a package and they asked me if I was my daughter's mom. Your parents were home. <laughs> and, then, and he was like, do you look like her older sister? I was like, thank you. I'm a lot older than that, but was wearing no makeup. And so I was like, I need something that's going to work. And then when Beauty Counter came in, I didn't question the performance. I was like, let me just try. But I actually signed up and bought because they tested for heavy metals in their makeup and their lipsticks. And they understood that lipstick was a high, heavy metals was high um, quantity in lipsticks where most companies don't test, don't care, don't know. I don't know. But I was like, sure, give me lipstick because this is, this means a lot to me as a practitioner. And I just wanted to send people that went to my blog to beauty counter. And that's how it started. And that's how I kind of started building a team. And then once I realized that this was a real business that I really loved, and I honestly, I had to get over this hurdle of like, I went to school to be a chiropractor. I'm no longer doing that. And now I'm selling lipstick or skincare. Like this seems just kind of weird, I guess. And so that was just an, an issue with me. And then I realized, and this is a quote that I cannot take. If you think we're just selling lipstick, then you're not paying attention. And I love that because it's so much more than that. And although when we do sell a tube of lipstick, which we just launched our new Sheer Genius and our Beyond Gloss, which is so fun, like it's really fun to talk makeup. It's really fun to 
to do that, but there's so much more to the story and we'll get into that. And that's what fires me up about the kind of the why behind what I do, but it is fun to have makeup that works and have people like comment and be like, I've been using all sorts of products. <laughs> you hear Phil in the background, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is what happens when you have glass doors on a main floor office. Hello, mommy. Um, so cute. What was I saying? Um, it's fun talking makeup. Yes, and it's fun when people say, I have been you know, searching for skincare, or I thought I never could replace my conventional, like things that have harmful ingredients and beauty counter does a better job. Like that's exciting for me. So yes, <laughs> I have two girls at my door. <laughs> Both at the window. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for saying that. that. <laughs> Okay, so I want to share a little bit about our team, Megan and, and my team. So Megan is my mentor in the beauty counter business, um, but after a couple of years of just really being like business partners and bouncing ideas off of each other and really realizing that we hold a lot of the same values and um, just really run our businesses in very similar lanes. We thought, let's lead our teams together kind of as one. So that is what we're doing this year. And um, so we wanted to share a little bit about what sets kind of our team and what we're doing apart. And it really comes down to our values. Um, Megan and I are both Christians. And so we see our work as an opportunity to bring glory to the Lord. Um, and we really want to try to live by kind of the the stacked order of God first, family second, and work third. Um, that is kind of what we base our decisions off of when it comes to our business, all that kind of stuff. So many of the women on our team are moms. Um, so we understand uniquely the juggle, obviously, of motherhood and work and all the other responsibilities that we have on our plates um, and how Beauty Counter can fit really nicely um, in the ebb and flows of our seasons and of our lives um, together. So um, we are not here to pressure you to hustle or to strive, but we do want to spur you on, um, spur on each other on our team to work hard and to do our jobs um, with diligence and with excellence. We really see ourselves as people um, who are meeting needs of others and serving others. So sometimes that means that we lose a sale, quote unquote, for the sake of recommending the best possible choice for a potential client. Um, we ultimately want what's best for other people. We want to serve them. We want to meet those needs for them. Um, and that's what we do as educators as a part of Beauty Counter's mission to put safer products into everybody's hands. Um, and so we are here to support you. Um, we have a Facebook group where Megan and I start off the week with a Monday announcements so that you will know exactly what to prioritize for the week ahead when it comes to, you know, I've got my work hour set, nap time, quiet time, whatever it is, or early mornings or even at night. And, you know, wherever that work looks like for you. Um, and what do I do during that time? Well, we lay it out every Monday morning for what you need to be focusing on. We also put a short and really actionable training call or um, some kind of a training into our Facebook group once a week for you covering topics like how to give exceptional customer service to how to manage your time as a busy mom how to host a pop-up and kind of best practices there, really everything you need to know about product launches on and on and on. Okay. And then beauty counter kind of on the beauty counter side, our headquarters is phenomenal. They go above and beyond with making sure that we know exactly what we're doing, um, that we feel prepared when a new product comes out, that we understand it fully. Um, we have a back end website called Behind the Counter, which is chock full of resources and trainings and FAQs, graphics, all that kind of stuff um, at your disposal. And then uh, when you do come on as a new consultant, you'll get an email series from our headquarters and from our team's managing director, Kate, um, that basically lays out starting steps for you. 
um, to kind of get your business started and off the ground. And then you'll also have an initial coaching call with either Megan or myself, whoever invited you to this call. And um, we will help kind of verbally process that with you. You know, why are, are you doing this? Why have you joined Beauty Counter's mission? And what are your goals? And how can we then back up and help you reach those goals and support you in that and give you ideas and tips and all that kind of stuff? Um, we also have a training platform called Counter University which is again chock full of product training if you are feeling confused about you know what does the overnight resurfacing peel do or you know why what what is the difference between this new lipstick that came out today um, and the old one you can hop on to counter university and in like five minutes read and kind of look at the graphics and figure out you know why is that product safer what are the ingredients in it um what what is it going to do performance wise? What kind of clients would need this? It's great information. Okay. Is it moving on to me now? Yeah. You want to share a little bit about kind of yeah. beauty counter as a company? Yes. Okay. So this is so fun because when I joined, I didn't know much about beauty counter as a company. I just trusted them. And I feel like one thing I'll just throw out there is, the overhead and kind of the hurdle to join is not very high. Like it's pretty easy to join as a consultant and you can run your business however. You can be passionate about any of these things, many of these things. You can focus on education. You can focus on makeup tutorials. I don't do actual tutorials, but there are some consultants that do great smoky eyes and things like that. And so you can find the things that you really are interested in, but getting started as a consultant is not a huge hurdle to jump over. Um, and so I think that's just something to, to mention because I didn't know a lot about Beauty Counter other than what I knew I knew I loved and I've grown to love so much, so much more about this. And it, it really um, plays to like my research brain and how much thought that they put into things. And we'll get to that too. But I like to know some behind the scenes. I like to know details. You tell me why. Now, whether or not somebody buys a lipstick because they love all of this stuff about how we've sourced our vanilla ethically. Maybe they don't care, but because we did, that's a detail that I think is so cool and so important. And that's what makes the lipstick more than a lipstick. And so anyways, Beauty Connors is a B Corp. And so a B corporation is a company that uses their business as a force for good. And I really love that. And so what's behind us as, a, as beauty counters, B Corp status is safer products because we obviously make safer products and we'll get into why we go beyond clean and why we actually coined, I believe the term clean beauty. And we also focus on sustainability. So with our packaging, um, and, just being very mindful of that education. So not only is Beauty Counter just, you know, as consultants, like we're, we want to educate everybody about why clean products matter, but Beauty Counter as a company, they are talking to Congress, they're talking to legislators. We um, have an incentive trip every other year where consultants get to go to DC from each state and to lobby for safer skincare um, or safer beauty laws. Like it's a really cool thing because there's not been a major beauty law that has been made into a law, I should say, since 1938. And that is starting to change and will be in Beauty Counter has been a huge driver for that. But like I said, it's so much more than just products. We're really using the business as a force for good. And then in terms of employee empowerment, Beauty Counter's mission is to enable us and most, most women, there's a few men consultants, but I'm going to say mostly women to run our own businesses. And that's a really awesome thing for us to run our own businesses. And yes, we stay within the, the lines of what Beauty Counter draws. But like I said, you could absolutely love to do makeup tutorials and talk all about that for somebody else they i mean i know many people they don't wear much makeup at all our ceo greg renfrew she's not really a makeup girl she she's always so cute and so put together but it is like neutrals and basics and not very much so she didn't start the company to you know be teaching makeup videos herself but she's so incredible and so inspiring to listen to and then each year we put together a sustainability report and just kind of give 
the details of all of this so that us as consultants and people who purchase know what we're doing as a company. And so for um, one example that we'll get into even more with Beyond Clean is we um, are going to be auditing all the places that we get mica from because it's really big with child labor um, and also just really unsafe conditions. And so a lot of companies will, um, they'll just take whatever certification paper, it's like your mica is safe and clean and no child labor was used, but that might not actually be true. And that company is just believing that and beauty counter knows that there could be some iffiness there. And so they're going to go in person or somehow virtually or because COVID's kind of thrown a wrench in some things, but our goal is still to get to every place that we source mica from and see for ourselves that, um, it's done ethically and done correctly. And I think that's so cool because once again, you could just as a company take that paper and say, we're good to go. But Beauty Counter is going beyond that. We also have our never list, which has always been 1500 ingredients. And we just, and then it was 1500 plus, and now we're at 1800 and growing ingredients that we will never put in our beauty products. And so it's cool to know all of that stuff. And for example, we, um, there's in the US, you can use 65 different colorants. And this is actually one of the reasons why I so love Beauty Counter. And this is that like kind of science brain of mine. Beauty Counter only uses 18. And so I learned this a long time ago. Just because something says natural or organic does not mean it's actually safe because heavy metals are in our natural soil. And so just because um, a colorant is natural doesn't mean it's safe. And so Beauty Counter, when I first joined, we didn't have a red lipstick and red lipstick's really popular. And when it came out, it was a big deal because they could not find a safe red. And so they did not make a red in order to have it be safe. And so when it came out, we learned all about this, but they used a synthetic red and some of our brighter colors that are so laden with heavy metals in the natural ones are actually synthetics. And then people go, oh no, it's a synthetic. We don't like synthetics. Well, we don't like to consume and eat synthetic food, yes. But there's a little bit different lingo and different <clears throat> things when it comes to synthetics in, in beauty products. And so it is proven to be safer, not disrupt our endocrine system, not be a carcinogen, not be a known toxin, and much safer than the same red equivalent in the natural because the heavy metals are too high. And so most people's heavy metal limits is 10 parts per million. Beauty Counter wants it to be um, one or uh, undetectable limits. And actually most of that, I think it's a spectrometer that measures it, but I'm not sure if I'm correct on that, but it measures how many parts per million of heavy metals. And most of them are set at 10. So if a company does test and it's like, well, it's below detectable limits, that could be below 10. That's not good enough for us. We have something that measures one or lower. So when we say undetectable, that's really, really undetectable. Not just, oh, well, it's below where this, the machine was uncalibrated to. You can tell I just absolutely love <laughs> talking beyond clean stuff. Um, another thing is what Beauty Counter did in terms of sustainability, we, we're removing like the secondary boxes. So in certain things like shampoos, they don't have the bottle in the box because you don't throw away the box. You don't need the box. Certain things need to be transported in a box so they don't break. Um, but if we take out the box, then you need a seal you have to make sure that that shampoo wasn't tampered with we're in a box you don't need a seal well you can buy seals anywhere but beauty counter wanted to make sure that those seals didn't contain any harmful ingredients the glues the resins because they didn't want any unwanted chemicals leaching into the clean formulas and affecting us and our health and so they found a seal that met our never list and that that checks the box. And those seals that are gonna be on top of, you know, that shampoo is so small. And the amount of toxins that may get in there is probably pretty small too. And they could have chalked it up and saying that's fine. But that's why we wanna go beyond clean and just continue that type of diligence that's just not common in this industry because the laws don't have to be common. And so it really sets us apart. And like I said, it's stuff that, these unseen details make me so excited and just love to know these details. And so, um, and then to mention our vanilla that I mentioned earlier, that's now in our repackaged and upgraded lip 
um, glosses and sheer genius. It's, so we've always, our shears have always been vanilla. I love the smell and how they go on. And I did not know this, Beauty Counter teaches me a lot, the vanilla industry is known for human rights issues also, from child labor to wage theft, things like that. And so they um, have an organic eco-cert, you can correct me if I miss yeah, you. Said it right. Yeah. Vanilla. That's um, from a woman owned company and she partners with sustainable farms in Madagascar. So we have this, this beautiful, um, like kind of way that we can support small businesses and we can see that, um, kind of chain go through and we know where our stuff is coming from. And so you are really then purchasing a lipstick that you are going to love, but really, um, is just, yeah, it's supporting really good things. Um, and so it's making changes to the, the way that vanilla, for, for example, can be manufactured and we're supporting that business when it's just a simple lipstick, but it's so much more than that. So yeah, it's really fun to be able to um, do that and just to see the integrity of Beauty Counter. One thing I want to out point out too, because when we, when like us as consultants, we're independent consultants and yes, we partner with Beauty Counter, but that doesn't mean we have to like share everything that Beauty Counter shares or love every product that they make or, you know, shout it all from the rooftops because there are some that just don't work for my skin because I have really dry skin. I don't use the oily line, but that doesn't mean I don't like the oily line or anything like that. And there's just, there's, there could be something that you're like, you know, I don't, that doesn't fire me up but it's gonna fire another consultant up. And that is totally fine because we are given the opportunity to run our businesses really uniquely. And we're given the opportunity to run our businesses uniquely um, within our own time limits. I could work 40 hours a week. I'm <laughs> actually cutting out certain things that are not beauty counter related. I'm gonna stop doing my podcast for a while because my own, um, I've just burned myself out a little bit too much health wise and, and just really focusing on our team, um, which I just love to do and focusing on giving great customer service and making sure I'm doing everything I can to follow up with my clients and make sure they love their products. That's, that fires me up. So I don't work 40 hours a work week. I work about 15 hours a week, probably give or take some. And the last month I've worked five to 10 because my body hit a point where I kind of crashed and burned and I've had to pull myself up. Even right now, my brain is not fully on. <laughs> it's working on it. Um, but oh, I have another little guest. <laughs> um, they just made, they melt my heart when they come over here. I'm like genuinely shocked that my son hasn't come in here yet. So. <laughs> But it's, um, but I love, I love that the work isn't, it's not optional, but it's so flexible. And so the last, the last month I just fit it in where I can and where I have the energy and it hasn't been a lot, but I've kept it moving forward and that's the joy of it. And there will be a season that when I'm feeling more energy, when holiday comes around, which I'm so excited for, I was literally putting on my eyeshadow from last holiday, no, two holidays ago. And I grabbed that palette and I was like, oh, are we gonna have a new eyeshadow this holiday? Like I got so excited and I was like, oh, it's gonna be holiday for us consultants, like coming up in the beginning of September. It's like, we get to see it all virtually, obviously. Um, and I'm like, oh goodness, I am so excited. And never thought I'd be that excited about makeup and skincare and what they put together and sharing that, but I, I do, I, get, I love it. Um, but I, where was I going with that? Oh, you can work it how you want to. And there will be a season of a little bit more hustle come holiday and my body will be ready for it. But I am so grateful. And I feel like once I have enough brain power, I can really communicate this out to the masses, but so grateful for this job because yes, it is a job. We work hard at it. It's a lot of fun. We have great relationships. Um, and I just love that I get to work with you, Natasha, all the time, sometimes on a daily basis. We get to chat. I just love it. I actually sent, I'm like, this is my brain right now, like tangents. I sent Natasha a photo of these glasses. I was like, are these weird? <laughs> You're like, need your opinion now. <laughs> yeah. Two of my family members don't love them, and the two-year-old loves it, but her opinion doesn't out. So I kept so the tiebreaker was Natasha. Yeah, yes. And, yep. And I was like, Natasha loves them. I'm keeping them. But it's just fun, just like fun little things that we get to just grow in relationship with. And it's fun as a mom who's very much so 
stuck in our home now, um, which normally we're out a lot more and we can do more pop-ups and things just to have those like really fun connections and relationships and things um, too. But yeah, um, you can go. I probably stole <laughs> what you were going to say. No, no. What you're sharing is great. I feel like the, like what everything that Megan is saying, I feel like what sums it up is that there are no standards in the beauty industry. None. There's no way that the FDA can say at this point, um, oh, mold was growing in your product. Um, we found asbestos in your product. Um, your product causes cancer. And we know this in kids play makeup products, let's say, and you don't have to right. Asbestos in, in products targeted to children as play makeup. There's no, um, they, they have no jurisdiction to pull those products from the shelves or to say, you cannot put known carcinogens and known hormone disruptors into these products. You must reformulate. There's no standard for that. So what beauty counter has done is set the standard. And now what we're seeing seven or seven years or eight years in, um, to this company is Almost seven. Yeah. Seven years. Other companies are following. I think that we had a birthday in March during COVID and I forgot about it. <laughs> Happy birthday. The world is shutting down. Um, yeah, but it's just been incredible to see, even for me being a consultant for the last like two and a half years, seeing companies kind of get on board and, and see that um, consumers want clean products. More and more, that's what people want. They know they can get better. Now with Beauty Counter, they know they can get something that works. And there is no standard. So we're saying we're setting the bar way up here. You can have amazing products. You don't have to lose out on innovation, but you can't put people's health in harm's way. You just can't. And we're, you know, sending consultants to Washington to lobby, you know, in front of Congress people and say, hey, you need to change the laws for more health protective laws in the personal care industry. So I feel like that sums up everything that Megan, like you were really sharing. Um, and I just want to wrap up just some final thoughts um, on really why Megan and I love Beauty Counter. I think if you are going to consider any kind of direct sales or like how we um, like to call ourselves direct retail, because there's several different ways that people can shop Beauty Counter, whether at a store, a physical brick and mortar store that we have across the country or a pop-up that we're doing, like we're doing right now in Sephora. We are popping up in Sephora and you can buy Beauty Counter there for the next three months, I think, um, or through the website or through supporting the personal business of a consultant. Um, if you're going to choose a company to partner with, this is a great one to partner with. We truly are mission focused and our consultants at our job as consultants is, um, it consists of educating people first, right? You don't have to be an expert. We will train you, um, on everything you need to know about clean beauty. You know, all this stuff that Megan shared, she didn't know this before <laughs> she's learned it because beauty counter has educated us, um, on all of these issues. I did not know that vanilla before the last couple of days did not know that it was so, um, precious and difficult to harvest and that, um, there was, um, labor issues, you know, with people's, um, dignity and, and safety at risk. I didn't know that. Um, and so we will train you on everything that you need. Um, we're here to support you for your goals, um, of sharing honestly this vital information with your communities. And the real deal is that we need more voices in this movement, um, to, to push this mission forward and to get safer products into people's homes. Um, because the reality is that, um, there are still so many people that do not know that the ingredients in their personal care products, the, the stuff that they're putting on their skin every single day actually does have a significant effect on their health and could be a major contributor, um, to, you know, the lack of healing and um, sicknesses and just health concerns um, that we're going through as women, certainly, particularly, but even as a country. And so um, we get to do that um, from the comfort of our own homes and share it with people that 
need that information, um, all while bringing in an income for ourselves while we do it. So Megan is going to walk through now kind of what it looks like to enroll and all of that logistical information um, that we get so many questions about. Right. Okay. So like I said, the hurdle to join is not super high. Um, and so you can start your beauty counter business in two different ways. The digital option, which is $50 or with a kind of a welcome kit of a couple of products, the eye cooling masks, and then the counter match cleanser with some handouts and a little tote and things like that for 98. So you get the 98 or the $50 option. And then those are cheaper if you are already a um, Band of Beauty member, minus $29 um, off of those. And I should say, it's just off of yeah, not the fifty dollar enrollment. If you, want, is, if you do want the physical kit, it's sixty nine yeah. instead of ninety eight. If you are a band of beauty member, yep. And so that is your that that gets you your website link. You're ready to go. From there, you can purchase a starter kit and then some other discounted products. On top of that, I always recommend we do a starter kit. It does not have to be the big one, tons of products. Um, although sometimes that's a great option too, if you wanna sample stuff out, if you want to do drop-offs to neighbor's houses or things like that, that's a great thing you can do now. Um, but I, we always recommend start with some products because when I joined, I did not start with products. I bought a lipstick. <laughs> and I slowly purchased products, but I couldn't speak to the product lines and I couldn't speak to that. And so it honestly wasn't, my business really didn't start going until I had purchased a lot of product. And um, <laughs> the story is somebody else joined. And so I was able to use a lot of product from their starter kit too. And I was just to see and to get my hands on things like this is what you need. So I have kind of been in both places. And so you definitely need some products. You can purchase Flawless and Five then, which is our six product makeup. So you can see the makeup um, and really speak to that. So we always highly recommend that. We also have samples that are pre-made little packets, which are awesome. Way better than creating your own samples, which sometimes I still do for products. I do that quite often, but the packets fit in envelopes, which are so wonderful to be able to ship out so much easier. And so that's a way to get products into people's hands and, and you know, get new clients and start purchasing Beauty Counter too, um, is doing the starter kit option. And then from there, you have access to our team, to Behind the Counter, to Counter University. Um, and um, let, me, let me know if I'm missing out on anything. I feel like there's one more thing <laughs> I was supposed to share um, with that, but I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah. So did you talk about like the discount and the Here we go. I was like, there's one more thing. So yeah. as a consultant, you get 25% off products for yourself. So like Natasha, you said that was just a no brainer. You want the discount. You had a blog that you had and a business. And so you're like, I can start sharing. We'll see where this goes. And I so vividly remember the conversation where you're like, say, I don't know if I want to be still doing my, you know, physical meal planning product. I'm moving. I know life's going to get a lot busier. I think I'm going to focus more on beauty counter. Like I see this vision for it. And I was like, that's awesome. Let's do it. And so you get 25% off, but then commissions, you make 25 to 35%, depending on your sales that month, but you always at minimum make 25%. So when we talk to other business owners, bloggers, we're like an affiliate program of 25% payout is incredible. And then how you can build a business and a team from there is, I mean, the, there's so much vision um, to that and so much of what your business can be. And, um, and then, like I said, we can always discuss more about building a team and um, how we'll teach you how to um, educate people in the best way, how to follow up with your clients, all that stuff as we do in mentoring, which we love doing there also. Um, okay. Anything else? I want you to wrap up if I missed anything. Yeah. So let us know if you have any questions. Um, we are happy to answer now, or if you catch the replay, 
um, please reach out and let us know. We will probably follow up with you and just see like, hey, do you have any questions that we can answer about this? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just want to reiterate, like there's no minimums to be paid. Um, you know, you sell one lip gloss, you make 25% commission off of that. Um, it truly is kind of like what Megan mentioned, like an affiliate program in that way. Um, just the income potential is so much more because of that. You're never required to build a team, although we think that that is so important and such a great opportunity because like we mentioned, like we are a team, we work together um, and who wants to work by themselves? It's so lonely. So um, it's just nice to be together and um, to have people to kind of bounce ideas off of and get tips from and hear new ways to think about things um, while also, you know, knowing that like that is going to also um, increase your business down the road. But um, we, um, yeah, are just in the business of helping people to solve a problem that they might have. And um, it's just an incredible um, business opportunity for us as well with that. So there's one more thing I realized as you were talking. Yes. So there's no minimum to purchase as a consultant to get paid your commission. But in order to maintain eligibility, you have to every six months sell $1,200 worth of product, which sometimes people go, oh my goodness, that's so much. It isn't. Your personal products go towards that. And so that's $200 a month. So if you start with a starter kit you, and you get a few other products, like you're pretty much halfway there. And so once you start getting a few clients, a few members, it's not hard at all. I've never not met that minimum. I've never not been close, even when I wasn't doing the business as much as I am now. Um, it's very easy to, to meet that as long as you want to want to do that business. And even if you're like, I'm joining for the discount, kind of a hobby on the side, which is awesome. You can totally do that. Still hitting that 1200 isn't that hard if you share with a handful of friends and, and family. You can easily Yeah. Essentially what that looks like is getting two sales a month. Mm -hmm. So that's super doable. And we can obviously help you with that. Mm -hmm. So well, yeah. Just like you said, Natasha, whoever invited you to the call or sent you the replay, reach out to us. Um, and we will get in touch with you. We'll answer questions. We'll hop on the phone, whatever, uh, whatever ways we can, um, really answer whatever you need in terms of being a consultant. We, this opportunity is amazing. We say, we say this often, we hear it often. We think the opportunity is one of our greatest products is just is a business. And so, um, we know it's not always for everybody. It might not always be the right time, but I think it's something so worth considering in today's day and age and environment. And I know when COVID first hit, everything was closing down. I was nervous about my business. I was nervous about the, the beauty industry, what was going to happen. And the beauty yeah. industry went down a little bit, but you know what clean beauty did? Clean beauty has continued to grown, and beauty counter has grown and when, like when we um, launched, oh goodness, oh, we launched a mini set and they, they told us like, we are going to sell this out in a day and we are so sorry that we did not, we, our forecast that we did months ago did not reflect the growth that we have seen. <laughs> so yeah. it's just what happened. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But it has continued to grow and it has amazed me because People are realizing, just like you said, we want, they want, people want to know what's in products and they want to know how it's going to affect our health and they want transparency and they want a company to tell them what, what is up. And that is what Beauty Connor does. There are no questions. Um, there's no questions I have of like, are you sure that's safe? I can so confidently tell anybody, go to our website and choose anything because I trust it. The only time that we have to look at ingredients is when somebody's really sensitive to something but that doesn't mean it's, it's a harmful ingredient. It's just, they're really sensitive. Um, but otherwise I can put my stamp of approval of trust on that. And that is what I did not have as a chiropractor. Where do I send people? What products can I trust? What, and what work? You can trust Beauty Counter and they're high performing. And it's such, it's just like those two things married together. It's such a beautiful combination in a, in a beauty company. Yeah, totally agree. So, okay, guys, that's all we have for you tonight. Thank you again for spending some time with us and listening in. And uh, we hope that this was helpful. So um, we will be talking to you guys soon. Okay, thank you. Bye. Right, thanks. Bye.